next, we're going to take a look at Stormgate, the highly anticipated real-time strategy game from Frost Giant. Then our resident RTS addict is going to sit down with some of the game developers to ask the hard-hitting questions like, when can we play this already? Two years ago, our team assembled with a shared vision to build a brand new real-time strategy game. Together, we've been fortunate to work on some of the greatest RTS games of all time, and now we have a chance to do it again by creating the next evolution of that legacy. Today, we are so excited to share a first glimpse of Stormgate, an exclusive sneak peek into the universe and game that we've been creating for you. Stormgate takes place in an all-new post-apocalyptic setting where science fiction and fantasy collide. Our story begins hundreds of years in Earth's future, following the near extinction of humanity. This great calamity was caused by the Infernal Host, a playable alien race of demonic invaders that are hell-bent on claiming this planet as their own. With our story, we are creating an ever-expanding game universe, told through an ongoing series of campaign missions that you can play solo or cooperatively. New chapters will come out regularly, along with new units, maps, modes, and plenty of other surprises. In addition to campaign missions, we're building a world-class competitive experience with grassroots and professional tournaments accessible from directly within the game. There will be different leagues suitable for all levels of experience. In our new three-player co-op versus AI mode, you'll level up your heroes, collect rewards, and customize your forces to open up new styles of gameplay and long-term variety. Stormgate will be free to play, but not pay to win, and there will be no NFTs. Beta testing starts next year, and you can sign up now to reserve your place in line at playstormgate.com. You might happen to know that I'm a huge fan of real-time strategy games. StarCraft is my favorite game. I've played it for 25 years. I still play it. And that's why I am so thrilled today to be talking to Frost Giant Studios. They're a group of amazing developers who have worked on literally my favorite games of all time. And we're here to talk about their brand new, free-to-play, real-time strategy game set in a post-apocalyptic Earth. It's Stormgate. And here to talk about it is the CEO and production director at Frost Giant, Tim Morton. Thanks for joining us, Tim. Thank you so much for having me here. I want to know about the world. I want to know about the game. Tell us, what is Stormgate? All right, this is our first game as a new studio. Um, and it is classic real-time strategy, but designed to be more social. We build the game in a universe that ties everything together, but provide different kinds of experiences for players who like different kinds of gameplay. So we've got a cooperative campaign mode, also play open-ended co-op, but if you're somebody who really enjoys competition, we've got one versus one, high skill, competitive. And those are very different ways to play in some ways, but they're also all unified by the universe, by the races, by the units. So you really yeah, yeah, yeah. get a sense for how to enjoy the game. And I'm curious a little bit about that core gameplay, because obviously in all these modes, you're gonna be collecting money, building bases, building units, and so on. And I know that for you, the game feeling really good and really smooth to play is super important. Now, obviously I, I come from a time where if the pathfinding is bad, we call that high skill opportunity. But I mean, how do you think about getting the controls, the motions, just the feel of the game to feel good in 2022? Yeah, it's interesting that RTS is one of the only genres I can think of where you have to have hundreds, even thousands of units synchronized over the network and responsive in a way that high skill like pro esports players feel good about playing the game. That's not easy. It does require custom technology. Um, there's no engine that you buy off the shelf that does that for you. So we definitely started knowing that um, and having the benefit of our, our chief architect, James Anhalt, who did that work yeah. previously on StarCraft II. Um, so we've put a lot of effort into that for sure. And this is going to be one of the first major RTSs people are aware of that is on Unreal Engine 5. What is it like working in this next generation engine? It's pretty incredible how far things have come from a graphics perspective. And I think the art team is unlocked in so many ways by what Unreal provides. So we're very excited. We're still 
learning everything that Unreal can do for us. But even that first cinematic that we debuted, like that's done in Unreal. So the high quality graphics that you're seeing are actually coming from Unreal as an engine. So we've talked a little bit about for new players, making the game feel a little more approachable, a little bit more streamlined, but obviously, StarCraft, real-time strategy, has this astonishingly long history as a competitive game, as an eSport. And I'm curious, how is your team going to approach that? So a lot of the emphasis around our thinking has been focused on what are things that we can add, especially around the gameplay experience. And one of those things is more seamless integration with eSports. I mean, being able to sign up, participate in tournaments directly from the client in a way that gives players, even if you're not like top grandmaster, you yeah, know, yeah. ready to take on Serral, there's still an opportunity to be the best on your block or the best at your company or the best at your school. So we want to facilitate esports all the way from grassroots level up to the pro level directly in the client. So, of course, in the history of RTS games, a really important component of them has always been mods. I mean, Warcraft 3, there's players that didn't even play the original game. They just did custom mode after custom mode. Does Stormgate have modding? How are you thinking about the modding community? A number of members of the Frost Giant team actually came out of the modding community. The team as a whole is very passionate about it. From the outset, we started out applying resources to build a custom editor. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunity to make improvements to the editing experience for RTS. We are also working on the infrastructure for people to be able to share their mods with each other. So it's really core to us as a team to enable modding, and we're absolutely working on it. And of course, we have to end with my favorite question of all. When can we play the game and how do we play it, Tim? So we are going to start our beta in 2023. We already have a site stood up at playstormgate.com to be able to register for the beta. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of active discussion topics on our subreddit as well. So there's an opportunity to participate in the dialogue around what we're building. Tim, thank you so much for joining us again today. We just got a chance to talk about Stormgate, the upcoming free-to-play RTS from Frost Giant Studios. I'm personally super pumped to play it, and be sure to check it out at playstormgate.com.